According to Wikipedia, granular synthesis is a sound synthesis method that operates on the micro sound time scale. It is based on the same principles as sampling. However, the samples are split into small pieces. The small pieces are called grains. Multiple grains may be layered on top of each other and may play at different speeds, phases, volumes, and frequencies, among other parameters. So what makes granular synthesis so cool? Let's listen to some examples of granular synthesis and you can decide for yourself. These are just a few examples of granular synthesis being used in musical context. But did you know that almost every modern song uses granular synthesis in some way? Modern pitch algorithms are based on granular synthesis. So the last time you grabbed a sample from a pack and tuned it to be in key, you're most likely using granular synthesis without even realizing it. So how do we do it? Well, first we need a VST capable of even doing it. We'll be using Granulator 2 and Ableton Live for the most part, but you can use any granulator you like, such as Audio Damage Quanta, Native Instruments Straylight, or FL's built-in granulizer called Granulizer. Here's just a few ways you can utilize granular synthesis in your productions. Throw it on drums, pads, Vocals. Effects. And you can even time stretch with it. Here's a quick beat I made using granular synthesis and our new pack Sugar that focuses mainly on granular sound. 